gentlemen, South Carolina Porch Gardener here, and I'm coming to you talking about root-bound plants and how to save them. Um, and this is just my personal experience with root-bound plants. So I am actually going to try to save one of my own root-bound plants that I got from the nursery on a really good deal. Let me show you. Alright, so right here is a dwarf ever-bearing mulberry. And I'm pretty sure this thing was root bound. You can see some of the leaves are, they're really dry. Um, anyway, and there's, it's not looking too healthy. But they had this for $26 and then I seen a sign on it for $10. And it was in the clearance section. And uh, then when I walked out to the checkout, the lady's like, here, you can have it for $5. Uh, I didn't even say anything, but <laughs> hey, there we go, five bucks. And you can usually tell uh, if uh, if a plant's root bound when they have way too many roots in this itty bitty area. Now I've already worked on this thing a little bit here, but this thing has way too many roots right here, and they're all tangled mess, and it's not allowing uh, this plant to get any bigger. Um, and I know uh, mulberries are very tough, so they can take it. But how I save this thing is different from what you might see online, but this is how I save it. And I can guarantee this thing will be saved. So let me show you. Here in the front yard, and I have my handy dandy sprayer. And what I have that set to is jet. And what I'm gonna do, beat the hell out of these roots. So, what this is doing, spraying with the jet, it's allowing that dirt to escape out of the roots, but it's not harming the roots. It's not ripping the roots. It's just moistening up that dirt and getting all that dirt loosened up out of the way so we actually have roots coming down and they're not all stuck together. You can already see a few of them dripping there. And that's exactly what we want. You can try to grab it and, and pull them loosely. I'm not going to rip any of these roots. But I'm just going to try to untangle what I can just a little bit. Just get them out a little bit, and that's good. And uh, I got mud all over the leaves and stuff like that, so I'm going to spray those off real quick. Spray all the leaves off. Spray the mud off the leaves real quick. Loosen up some of that extra dirt in there. Get it nice and loose. And I just usually spray it with jet to uh, do that. But it works. And look at that. We got some roots already coming down. It's great. Now, this thing came in this pot right here. This itty bitty pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this itty bitty pot. And yeah, I know it's a little bit big. That's what I have. Um, but I'm just going to upsize it. You can do it to, you know, one half that size. You don't need a, a massive pot. And I usually I would put it in a little bit smaller one, but I don't have anything uh, perfect size for it. But this should still allow it to grow. And I filled this up with some nice organic potting soil dirt type thing and uh and tease out those roots as much as i can and put that bad boy in there and get his roots down in there let him know that he can start growing and i'm just going to take potting mix and fill it right up to there Just remember guys, plants need heroes too. Don't be afraid of something in your clearance section, just because it looks a little bit worse. You might be able to save it. And hey, for this one little lowly dwarf ever-bearing mulberry, it might pay me back one day in a lot of mulberries. So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned guys. Thank you.